Breaking news, everyday news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Remember to follow us on all our social media platforms. We're on Instagram, Prince Miller Entertainment. Facebook, are Prince Miller Entertainment. A Facebook group, are Prince and Miller Entertainment TV. We're available on CSI. Yes, our podcast is a Prince Miller podcast. Just go and look for it. Today is the 1st of May uh, 2022. Happy, happy new month. It is also uh workers day and it's like yes uh, workers day is what our shandy nurse and uh, and uh you know if we talk of workers day we talk of uh people who are employed i mean in zimbabwe uh most of us are unemployed it's because uh so few people who are employed uh because uh, yes you know uh you know all the prices all the basic commodities and uh, are now uh, becoming so expensive and many workers they can't afford and uh, to have like three meals a day but we started out thing like chingwa chacho and it so um triple c is a citizens coalition for change uh president one no so nchamisa misa wa mukira makusense ni pa twitter but i don't know what i want to uh, talk with the supporters and all the people of zimbabwe on how we're gonna do uh if we win my elections uh, next year 2023 when it comes to now because vashandi in do wakaba opposition political party here and the uh, mdc uh paragraph former in 1999 this wakaba kuzi ctu that explains the whole momentum in gene mdc back in the day and then our morgan twangirai watch mirira vashandi it was a labor party and uh, so uh what Misa wrote on uh, twitter the man said uh pay workers a living and decent wage restore workers dignity and uh, uh workers day is a special day to appreciate salute and celebrate the amazing efforts resilience and endurance of all the hard praised workers who gave and continue to give their sweat and blood to build uh our zimbabwe great even under difficult times this day we remember uh, that everything won was through the struggle and sacrifice of working citizens extending ovation to all uh, to the workers who keep the show going and our nation are ticking workers are the backbone of any nation being the turbans of history and architects of any society the historic struggle and the militant tradition of the labor movement in zimbabwe have won us many victories that we still enjoy up to this day remember burombo masocha lovu jamela mzengeli komu sibanda changirai matombo kiwane chibebe and mutasa now more than ever Policymakers and employers in Zimbabwe need to hear workers' calls for a living and decent wage, restore workers' dignity, and ensure that workers get a fair share in the wealth and gains they hope to create. Workers are suffering, transport is a nightmare, wages are low, salaries are inadequate, prices are roaring. The recent statistics from Zimstar show that annual inflation as of April 2022 surged to 96.6 percent while authorities have not given corresponding salary increase current real market exchange rate is um one us dollar to 400 bond which effectively means that worker salaries are seriously eroded by both inflation and exchange sparrow but authorities are unwilling to give workers a correct living wage likewise employers capacity to pay real wages to workers has been constrained by draconian government policies which inter alia include excessive distortions and corruption and punitive exchange rate regimes and excessive uh, taxes the punitive economic environment has been so toxic to the people in the informal sector as their working capital is being eroded by exchange rate spiral and inflation we have been trying to make ends meet in the face of high unemployment rate which is above 90 percent likewise workers are failing to put a decent meal on the table and many now in the poverty bracket some workers can't afford to buy a loaf of bread daily our teachers can send their kids to standard boarding school and the same teacher is expected to teach other parents kids 
We have numerously advised and continue to advise those authorities to give workers a living and decent wage, but the call falls on deaf ears, shut minds, and stony hearts. Dollarize for workers to earn decent wages and to increase the domestic aggregate demand. As the next and incoming government, we guarantee the following a decent and a living wage, a starting minimum wage of 540 US dollar for the lower civil servant, a conducive uh, environment which foster business growth and attract both domestic and foreign investment, the key levels of job creation. We will undertake massive reforms of the state owned enterprises with a view to replace them as the key enablers and actors of economic transformation and employment creation. The strengthening of the TNF so that it becomes a serious vehicle for negotiations for government, employers, and employees. Consummate a social contract and massive labor law reforms. Domestication of ILO convictions that affect workers' conditions. Stop of abuse of workers by exploited local and foreign employers. Protect workers against any form of violence and uh, violations. We are losing a lot of workers through occupational deaths, sickness, diseases, and injuries. We seek to drastically reduce this by ratifying and domesticating Convention 187 in order to promote a self and a healthy working environment. We have looked at the 2009 ILO Commission of Inquiry, and our government will fully implement all the recommendations in trade workers' rights in the Constitution including the right to demonstrate freedom of association, collective bargain, and decent working conditions, including the public sector workers. Domestic workers are workers. Our government will speedily ratify and domesticate Convention 189 to protect domestic workers and promote decent work for this important but abused group of workers. We looked at both the proposed Labor Amendment Bill and the Health Service Amendment Bill, the all for short and take away workers' freedom and rights. Our government will pursue a TNF driven labor law reform based on ILO conventions and the constitution. All laws must be aligned to the constitution. Salute to, to all the workers who work tirelessly and patriotically every day to bring peace, sanity, amity, and happiness to their nations, families, and societies. Happy International Workers' Day. A worker is a maker. Let's make Zimbabwe great. Workers' Day is for all workers. Let us all work for change in Zimbabwe. Register to vote or encourage another to register to vote. Let's work to build our country. Great. A new great Zimbabwe in our lifetime. Key to providing a living wage, restoring workers' dignity, and getting rid of the old, rotten, and parasitic system, sucking life out of workers, is electing a citizen's government that puts workers' welfare first and prioritizes dignity at the heart of governance and all policy decisions. Give the workers their wages before their sweat dries. Better days are coming. A new great Zimbabwe is loading. A blazed workers' day to you all. Good. God bless all workers. God bless Zimbabwe. God bless Africa. This is what the men have wrote on um, Twitter and also Facebook. And is the account is a Nelson Chamisa advocate. And uh, who is the um, president, the leader of Triple uh, C Citizens Coalition for Change. The man is saying that uh, the lowest paid worker should earn 540 US dollar. And uh, yes, this is what the man is promising. Uh, if he wins my elections, I recall next year, when at 2023, and I'm going to say at the in the comment section, I do agree with him 100% that uh, the workers are the backbone of any country. And uh, yes, and I pass now a shantiga, Nika, I can't say farmer. And so the government needs to uh, improve Panaya in my working conditions. Ewa at the same time, the government needs to pay Washanti Marino Tenga at the moment. Things are very, very, very difficult. Don't get a bassa, I won't go in the quest. I got a Arushan, Arushan, but Maraja no was Tambi Rahacho, in English singer to Mukwane. I go to a hustlam town, I go to things at airtime, I go to go to some banana, I don't go it a hustling everywhere. Yeah, I go to Ramas with Torinani compared to someone else who's uh, working at 
eight to five and yeah, that's how the situation is and yeah, so that is all in the comment section this is a daily news breaking news everyday news this is a, a speech a letter which is coming from a citizens coalition for change president van noson chamisa the man is promising that he will improve the working environment for all the workers in zimbabwe so that they can take care of their families and yeah so this is our daily news breaking news everyday news happy international workers day to all the workers out there and it's yeah, yes bless up thank you guys for listening and watching bless up